Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on Valley Spring. So we've got today to spray our largest field with herbicide because the weeds have come through. So we'll get the sprayer on for a start and we'll go and do that. So that's this field up here which we planted with peas. Um, so this is quite a large field so it's going to take a little bit of time but it shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad, um, with, not with the sprayer anyway. So we'll crack on with this now, get this spraying done and uh, then see what other jobs need doing. got that field sprayed but I've also noticed that field 163 which is our grass field is also got weeds on it so that does also need to be sprayed as well so uh, yeah while I've got the sprayer on let's go and get that done Done with the spraying now and just been putting a few more loads of TMR into the cows as usual just to keep that going. As you know by now it doesn't really need it but I just like to keep on top of it to make sure we don't run out. Um, so that, I don't know what the capacity is, it's a lot. It's like half a million litres I think or something. Um, where is it? Cows. Yeah we've got <laughs> we've got almost 600,000 litres of uh, TMR in there but <laughs> yeah and even more than that of slurry so certainly not short on the feed but definitely uh, needs to keep on top of it don't want to run out so uh, I might as well just keep it topped up um, so yeah now we'll move on to the next job um, I think there's some drilling to do got quite a few empty fields um, so we would put some uh, linseed in I think I was thinking of doing some linseed now uh, there's also We'll have a look at the contracts as well, just to see if there's anything. Uh, you can now refresh contracts, can't you? New contracts X. So yeah, there are still some bailing contracts to do, and some harvesting as well. I'm not sure whether I fancy a sugar beet harvesting contract or, or carrot in this case. Might take a bit of time. Probably something a bit quicker than that. Potatoes. Can of course uh, lease the equipment as well. There's also fertilising contracts as well to do. But this, the silage bale contracts are certainly the most profitable. They're the ones to go for really, for big money. Uh, 
I just want to make sure it's a field that's relatively nearby because I don't want to be travelling miles. What does details mean? Alright. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, um, well, we could do that. I don't know if I can't decide. I'm a bit undecided between drilling one of our own fields or doing a contract. I have done quite a few contracts uh, in recent episodes, but they are quite profitable. So that, that is a size contract, 233, three. where is that? That must be fairly near, is it? 233 three is there, not too far away. We could do it, possibly. Mm. Is there anything nearer? 231. Yeah, there are some... Are these? Well, I think uh, well, I know where two. Ah, oh, two, three, one is there. Okay, yeah, that is slightly nearer. Two, three, one. Then let's do that. I think let's have a go at two, three, one. Let's accept that. I don't. It's size, yeah. We don't need to. We don't need to borrow the equipment. Although um, auto sucker would be helpful, but I don't think it doesn't come with one, does it? No. Uh, does that one? That one does come with one. Two two nine. Okay. Where's two two nine? It's probably nowhere near that one. <laughs> So some of these fields, because there's so many fields, they're quite hard to find. 229 is over here. Right. Um, yeah, we could do our own auto sucker, really, couldn't we, I suppose? Because it does certainly help. It does speed the job up if you uh, use the auto sucker. <laughs> Let's probably do 229 then, it's a bit further to go, but actually if we borrow the equipment, the shop is right there, so that's actually pretty good. Okay, so yeah, let's go with that one and borrow the items. 229, make signage belts, yeah. Okay, so we've accepted that contract. So, the equipment should already be down at the shop, here we go. Although these are not the mowers that swath the grass, are they? So I might be better off with our own motor and then uh, use the contract equipment to bail it. That's probably the plan, yeah. Okay, so although we still haven't really got a powerful tractor to run the... Uh, our, ba our mowers, sorry, is <laughs> our mowers are a bit too large for our tractors. I think it's a flat field though, so we should be okay. How many horsepower is this? I don't think, um, no we can't see that, no I think we'll have to use our own tractor for the mowers, um, and that'll be the JCB I suppose because it's the only one, the most powerful one with the front linkage we've got, I definitely need to get a bigger tractor. I wonder if I should sell the Heston baler, I'm just kind of thinking as I go along here. Um, where is the Heston baler, because I don't like it, these bales, we've, as we've found out now on survival multiplayer and on this series, the bales are not very good, they're very hard to handle, very sticky on the forks. So I'm just wondering whether we sell the baler and this tractor, possibly, and buy a bigger one, higher horsepower tractor, it probably won't be enough though. But I don't think we want this baler anymore, it'd be nice to have a, a better one, either a quadrant baler or a, another Heston baler which has got better bales, if that exists. Um, so, yeah, we might do that. So I'll head down to the shop and we'll see you there. Okay, so we're at the shop now. Sell this baler for a start, we definitely don't want that. I will repaint it though, and then we'll sell it. And that's left us with 122,000. If I repair the tractor, 121,000. That's nowhere near enough to buy a new tractor the size I want, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we, we, the, we're coming up to the time of year though where we're going to be selling a lot of stuff. 
so I'm just wondering about taking a loan out and then repaying it almost immediately. Yeah, this is difficult because I want, I want a more powerful tractor, but yeah, we can't afford it. See, this JCB is a much better option. Or Fant. Well, we, I suppose we have the tracked Fant, don't we? But yeah. Um, we need about, well, say 300,000 to be safe, I think. Um, something cheaper, of a high horsepower. There's a case, that's a bit cheaper. Yeah, that would probably be good. Um, Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult because I want to make sure we've got enough horsepower to run these mowers comfortably. But I do like the JCB because it's quick. It would be sad to see the JCB go, really. I don't, I'm not like keen on selling it because it's good for like casting and stuff, high-speed jobs. It'd be nice if uh, the co the contract tractor was a bit more powerful. But I don't think that's going to run the, the mowers. And so, yeah, it's only a medium track to that. Um, oops, wrong one. It's a medium track to think that. Yeah. Which one is it? I've forgotten which one it was now. Which number is it? 724. So, uh, that is. 724. Oh, ah, 246 horsepower. And our tractor is. Um, 230. Hmm. Well, I think then it's a bit more powerful, so we'll go and get the mowers and uh, run them on the fence. Okay, so we're back again with the mowers. I'll drop these off here and then. Uh, the Fent can pick these up, and then what I'll do, I'll get the JCB to follow me with the baler. And uh, that can follow me around the field with the baler. Might as well use the contract baler, because I'll save going back to the yard yet again. <laughs> this is a baler, so it won't be too bad. So amazingly, yeah, this tractor is slightly more powerful than the JCB in terms of horsepower, so that is surprising, but I'm pleased about that. It means we can hopefully just about run these mowers a bit more comfortably until we get our own slightly high horsepower tractor. It would be nice if it was a little bit more powerful, but it's not too bad. So yeah, JCB on the baler, there we go. And we'll drive the fent. Just got to get it to follow me. And then uh, the field is literally just right there. So how do we actually get into that field? I think it's down that side track next to the uh, shop. So, might as well fold it out and get it ready to go. That'll save stopping it again. Set the bale size to 150. And, oh, I didn't set the follow me after all that. There we go. And that should now follow me to the field and then immediately start baling behind the mowers. There we go, it's following. Just to get to the field and make sure it's actually bailing. But this should work pretty well, hopefully. As long as this fence got a bit more power, power than the JCB. Get the mowers unfolded. Yep, rear mower as well. Make sure it's also set to swath dropping, which it isn't, so good job I check that. There we go, swath dropping. Get the rear mowers on. And then hopefully the fent, the uh, JCB, sorry, should uh, follow me straight into the field and start bailing. But of course I will have to go relatively slowly with this tractor, otherwise the baler won't keep up. So I'm going to make sure it is actually bailing. I think it is, yeah. That baler is not the best though for picking up everything. It does leave quite a lot. 
I've noticed. But yeah, we are definitely layering, so that's good. So I will continue with this now. So that is the brass cut and baled and wrapped, so that's very good, all in one pass. Uh, I think that's all of it done, I've just got the help follow me back. Just take over. Oh that's annoying, almost had another bale out but I might have to go back and uh, finish off that bale because I'm sure we can get another bale out of it from 93%. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the field complete. I will have to double check that because I know what happened in one of the previous contracts that we did. Um, it, I thought we had finished and it turns out it was about 3% or something of the mowing still to do. We're not even that. So um, I will just double check that, but I think the mowing is all complete. Which means the final job is just to load up bales with the auto stacker and take them to the cell point. Let's just get this final bale out be long, just needs a tiny bit more grass. Oh, so close, 99%. Hopefully this bit over here will do it. It's so close to being it. There we go, that's it. So that is all the baling and wrapping completed now. So we need to get the auto sucker on, just while that Final bell wraps. Let's just quickly go onto the contracts menu and um, details. I think it is uh, field progress 92. Ah, hmm. So that suggests we haven't finished the mowing, which means I assume it's just the mowing and not the wrapping. It means I'm going to have to come back again with the with the mowers and just mow some of the edges because this is exactly what happened in the previous contracts or one of the one of the previous contracts anyway um, it said, well I thought I'd finished the mowing but it said that it wasn't quite finished on the, on the progress bar in the menu it does seem to be very strict actually on um, how much you do with the arable field contract it doesn't seem to bother too much but with the mowing ones it really does want you to get out every single little bit so, I'm going to have to unfold again. I'm assuming it's all bits like this. Let's get these unfolding again. I should have checked this before I took it back to the shop. Because now I've got to do it all again. Yeah, it really wants to get right to the edges. I'm amazed. Because there's like a tree in the way and stuff. So I thought I'd done all of the important bits. Of 
quite hard to get all of this. I'll do my best just to go around and tidy up all of the unknown areas. And of course, obviously, because we've bailed it already, all the bales are in the way as well. I think what I'll do, I'll just quickly go around off camera and try and get all the bits and see if we can get this contract finished. What does it say now? Details. 96, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, it is not quite finished. Let's move this out of the way. I think I'll, I'll come back to you once I've finished um, getting that contract bar to 100%. Well, we're finally there, it's at 100%, but that was ridiculous. So you literally had to get every single blade of grass pretty much, all the right way up to the edges. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, we've, we've done it, finally, but yeah, it seems very oversensitive. That's the one negative, I suppose, about these contracts, is it just seems a bit oversensitive. Anyway, let's get this taken back to the yard, or back to the shop, and uh, we'll get the auto sucker on. Probably use the JCV though for that, and we'll get these bells sold, and that will be the final task for this contract. So yeah, let's get to the JCV. Go. I could possibly go around collecting the last little bits and bailing them, but it's not really worth it. Probably wouldn't even get an extra bail. Might, if we're lucky, get one more bail, but it's it's a lot of work, a lot of faffing about really, not not much game. So uh, I think we should have enough bales there. If it's anything like the other contracts, it's uh, very strict on the field progress, but then on the bailing, it's not that bothered at all. You don't need to take many bales for it to finish the contract. So we'll drop that off, get the auto sucker on. I will just have another look at the contract menu just to see if it tells you how many bells you need to take. Um, delivery progress. I'm sure somebody mentioned it tells you. It tells you you haven't delivered any bells yet. Is that the amount? 20 bells. 20 bells, I think. I'm pretty sure. So that's all we need. We've got more than that, I think. And they need to go to. Where are we? We need to go to the biogas plant, not far at all. Brilliant. Okay. So I will get on with selling these bales. There goes the final bales off the field. I've decided to sell them all because we've got plenty of sides at the yard at the moment. So uh, we'll sell those. In fact, I think it's full. <laughs> I think we've maxed out the capacity of the um, biogas plant. So that's the money's going to keep trickling in slowly, but yeah, they're not all going to sell right now. But what I can do now is return this um, auto sucker and turn in the contract. So that, yeah, contract's complete. So we get 13,100 for that. Collect that. That's returned all the equipment. And uh, that brings us to a total of an increasing total, still, still increasing total of 180,300. So that's pretty good. We've really boosted our finances again, which is what we need. Very good money from these size contracts. And uh, hopefully next time we'll be selling some of our crops and that will increase it even more, which means we'll be able to buy our new tractor. I also want some more land, but 
I think the new factory is probably more of a priority at the moment. We do have discounts now on some of the fields around us, so that's good. It means we'll be able to buy some new land a bit cheaper. Is this thing stopping? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just uh, heading back to the shop to pick up the mowers, which were actually ours. Everything else was leased, but the mowers are ours, so I'll just pick these up so I don't forget, and then we can take them back to the yard next time. But that will be it for today's video. There we go. So, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.